What is going on YouTube? This is Simon Team Simon Mixer coming to you guys with a six hammer deck profile for the July 2014 format. I hope you guys enjoyed this deck profile. I've been making some changes uh, to the deck according to the format. Um, yeah, the deck will definitely change as the format progresses. And uh, without further ado, let's get started. And I'll be explaining to you guys some of the card choices that I've decided to play in this deck and why I play them. So without further ado, let's get started. So start out with the monsters, of course. Um, yeah, let's start. Monsters we got, of course. So I'll be playing, of course, Triple Kagemusha of the Six Samurai. This card is absolutely amazing. It has an amazing effect where um, if a Six Samurai monster is targeted by a card effect, you can change the target to this card instead. Sometimes your opponent likes to uh, beat out your Sheen's Negation uh, with like cards like Fiendish Shane, uh, Book of Moon, and stuff like that. So when you have a Kagemusha on the field, and when you try to do that to your Sheen, you can activate Kagemusha's effect to change the target to this card instead. Uh, and this will save your Sheen's Negation. So yeah, Triple Kagemusha. Uh, I play, of course, double Kageki. Kageki, Kageki is really self-explanatory. Level 3, uh, 6 iron monster. Uh, when he, this card is normal summon, you can special summon one for level 4, lower 6 iron monster from your hand. And you, what you want to special summon is, of course, 6 iron Kagemusha. And when you have Kageki and Kagemusha, that equals into your first turn, Shien. Yeah. Next, I play Double Elder Six Samurai. Uh, um, Double Elder is absolutely amazing. Um, it's your free special summon when you're going second. And he also gets you more counters for your 6 time on United. It's also a really, really great asceticism target. Um, yeah, for Kagimusha. And this helps you get into your Nature Beast. For level 10 off our level 3, you play, of course, one Hannah 6 Samurai. Hannah is absolutely amazing. The good thing about her is that, you know, she's a level 3. She's searchable by Sheen, Smoke Signal, and, of course, Rota. Um, she's able to activate, activate her effect uh, more than once per turn. So uh, she, she gets rid of your uh, opponent problematic monsters that are that are big and that she and cannot handle so she's absolutely amazing so you play um, one hand but the downside about her is that she she doesn't have an asceticism target so yeah <coughs> excuse me <coughs> one hand next I'll be playing of course triple uh, six arm and Kazan um, absolutely amazing. It becomes 2100 beater uh, on the field when you control two or more 6 iron monsters on the field. And he helps you get into your level 6s with the Kagamushas. One Inishi, one Sanji, and of course one Grandmaster 6 iron to round off our monster lineup. So we play 14 monsters. Yeah. You want to have the monsters as consistent as possible. Off to our spells, we play, of course, Triple Six Samurai United. This card is so explanatory. You draw a power of the deck. This card makes you basically play six less cards in your deck. This card is absolutely amazing. Uh, I don't even know how to explain it. You draw a power of the deck. You're part of you to the deck. Uh, I played Double Asceticism of uh, the Six Samurai. This card is absolutely amazing. Helps you get into your instant XYZs and instant Sheens and the Yeah. Next, or uh, for our search engine. Okay, we play, of course, Triple Sheen, Smoke Signal, and two Rotos. This card, these, the search engine is absolutely amazing in this deck. Uh, the, these cards are able to, to help you get into your combo pieces as fast as possible. To help you go into your first and she and first and tree beast, uh, stuff like that. Amazing. And Rota, by having Rota at 2, she makes the deck even more consistent now. Um, just get into that searching, searching engine as fast as possible. Get those stuff to your hand as fast as possible. So, the Rota is really, really nice. Uh, next we play, of course, the one Soul Charge. Um, Soul Charge is absolutely amazing. It's the Monster Reborn in the deck. Back in the day when Monster Reborn, Monster Reborn was a man and it was in his deck, uh, you're able to Monster Reborn in late game or mid game to bring back your Sheen, and that can be a really, really game changer. And in your mid game and late game, you can Soul Charge to bring back your Sheen uh, by paying a thousand life. That's pretty worth it uh, for the cause of uh, skipping your battle phase. So, yeah. And if you open up Sheen first turn and you have happen to have Soul Charge, you activate Soul Charge to bring back your um, Kagemusha and Elder to single summon for the Tree Beast. And having Sheen and the Tree Beast on board on the first turn is really, really crucial uh, for some decks, and some decks cannot handle that. So, yeah. One Soul Charge. Uh, next we play, of course, Double Forbidden Lance. Uh, protects your monsters. Uh, sometimes the first summon of the deck is absolutely really, really crucial. So, Forbidden Lance just protects your monster from getting bottomlesses um, and stuff like that. Yeah, and protects from getting deep as well. And this card can also use uh, as a defensive card, as a trap card, because uh, um, when your opponent tries to bring a bigger monster to attack your Sheen, uh, Forbidden Lance just says no, and it makes your Sheen basically look look big. Yeah, Forbidden Lance. So double Forbidden Lance. And last but not least, double Mystical Space Typhoon to get rid of your opponent back rolls. So that is it for the spells. Off to the traps. 
Uh, we play, of course, double dimensional prison. I prefer dimensional prison uh, over mirror forces. Uh, I do not play mirror force in, in the main deck uh, oh, because of hands. Hands, um, the prison works really, really well against hands. Um, yeah, you know, you, you guys all know why. So, double deep prison, uh, one compulsory evacuation device. I wish this card was at two or it can come back to three. This card's amazing. One solemn warning, one bottomless trap hole, triple Phoenix chain. Amazing. I always kept Phoenix Chain at 3 in this deck because uh, sometimes this deck has trouble um, dealing against monster effects and Phoenix Chain just helps uh, deal with that. So yeah, triple Phoenix Chain and of course the one breakthrough skill. Um, I might cut down one Phoenix Chain uh, for the another breakthrough skill but I play the other one in my side deck. So yeah, breakthrough skill is absolutely amazing. Uh, double Muskani Magatama and last but not least your double edged sword technique. That is it for my traps. I do play a 42 card main deck. Uh, I feel like 42 isn't a lot uh, in this deck because you mostly draw into your combo pieces as fast as possible and you go and you thin out your deck really, really fast with United, Zerota, Sheen Smoke Signals, and Asceticisms. So I feel like 42 is an okay number for this deck. And if you guys don't like you know, the 42 uh, card count in this deck, you can take out the one breakthrough skill and one finish chain and you just try to make uh, side deck space for them those two and that will make you have a 40 card uh, deck so yeah that is it for my main off to my side deck um, I play of course the one extra breakthrough skill for the uh, hand artifacts ha hand artifacts yeah hand artifacts breakthrough skill is amazing I play double mind crush for the Bujin matchup and Mermos as well double DD Crow uh, for the yeah, DD Crow for the uh, artifact matchup. When uh, no, yeah, I can be used against artifacts, insectors, uh, dark roads as well. Mm -hmm. It's kind of can be really really good against against a lot of decks. Yeah, so double DD Crow, uh, double Maxi, black one heaven, one space, one macrocosmos. And the la the third D person, the uh, these cards are for um, light swords. Yeah, send those stuff to, uh, banish D person, hands. Uh, and last but not least, triple light imprisoning mirror. Yeah, really really good. Uh, yeah, D D crow is for uh, bujins as well. You know, banishing the hairs, banishing the turtles. It's uh, pretty great. That is it for my side deck. The side deck will uh, obviously change as the format progresses. Um, yeah. You guys can just make changes into the side deck as well because uh, it's really uh, your preference on what you want to play in your side deck. So yeah. Next to our extra deck, we play of course the one six samurai Sheen, Cataster, one beast, Bartheon, and of course welcome back to Goyo Guardian. Uh, they play the one Goyo Guardian. This card is really good against synchro decks. Uh, the really good thing about him is that he's a twenty eight hundred level six and he's absolutely amazing. He's able to rob your opponent's synchro monsters and you know uh, it's pretty good. But the problem about Goyo is that, you know, uh, back in the day when it got banned, it was a Synchro era where Synchro's uh, discard was bigger than level eight level 8's uh, monsters. And you were just able to just rob those and just, you know, bring, bring them to your side of the field. So, um, yeah. One Goyo Guardian. But this card is not bad at all. This card is absolutely amazing. So, we play the one Goyo Guardian. The bad thing about him is that he's, you know, he, he can also get robbed uh, by uh, number 101 Silent uh, on Arc. So, yeah. But it's still good. 2800 level 6. Absolutely amazing. Yep. Uh, next, we play one Black Rose, one Scrap Dragon, and of course, one Stardust Dragon to end off our Synchro lineup. Uh, for level 8, you can change Stardust Dragon for Crimson Blader, Stardust Spark Dragon. Uh, it's basically up to you on what you guys want to play. And talking about Cataster as well, Cataster is really, really good against the Bujin matchup. Uh, I love Cataster for that. Uh, it's really, really great. Uh, off to our. XYZ to play, of course, the one Alucard, one Excite on Knight, one Honor Arc, one Cowboy, one Excalibur, one Black Horn, and of course, one Abyss Weller to end off our XYZ lineup. So, that is it for my deck profile, guys. I hope you guys enjoy this deck. Um, yeah.
yeah so let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think about this deck um how, um, how do you think it's gonna do uh, on the upcoming format and i'll be sure to make updates on this deck as the format progresses thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe for more Yu Gi Oh videos guys and i'll be making deck profiles more deck profiles real soon and do videos coming right up and more pack openings as well thank you guys for watching and team samson sam signing out peace and don't forget to subscribe for more Yu Gi Oh videos peace